everyone, live it like Lisa here. And we're finally down to the wire. This is the last piece of furniture I need to give a makeover to for my bedroom. So, oh, I'm so, I'll be so relieved once this piece is done because then I can start putting everything away. Because as you can see, I'm still living in a bit of a, a mess at the moment with everything everywhere. So yeah, once this piece is done and finished, I can finally put all of my makeup and everything back in it and yeah, start putting the room together and finishing the room off. So with this piece of furniture, this is gonna be used as my vanity. You can see I've put it near a window and it's also near the bathroom. So it's kind of the perfect spot. So I've got the bathroom there. To, if I need to wash my hands and that sort of thing and I've got the natural light for the window. What I plan to do with this is pretty much see how it's already distressed. I'm just going to paint it in white chalk paint like all of my furniture makeovers have been in my bedroom just to bring it back to that white white colour because at the moment I don't know if it's hard to tell you can probably see by the bin at the bottom it's more of an off-white cream colour. I'm just going to paint it white using my homemade chalk paint and then just give it a very light distressing just pretty much how it's distressed at the moment is all I'm really going to do to it. So I'll show you how I mix up my homemade chalk paint in this video just really quickly and yeah we'll get stuck into it. Okay so for the chalk paint, the homemade chalk paint, what you're going to need is some plaster of Paris. Now I bought a massive bag, I think it was a five kilo bag off eBay for about $20, something like that. And the five kilos has lasted me forever and I've still got this much left. Like I've pretty much chalk painted my whole freaking house. Like every piece of furniture in my house has pretty much been chalk painted using this homemade recipe and I've still got that much left. So what you're gonna need is a third of a cup of plaster of Paris mixed with a third of a cup of water. Now I interchange it. Sometimes I use a quarter of a cup of plaster of Paris and a quarter of a cup of water. Sometimes I use a third. It doesn't really matter. If you use more, like if you use a third of a cup, it gives you a bit of a thicker paste, which is sometimes nice. Um, so yeah, today I've just got a quarter, so I might just sort of put a bit, bit of a heaped a heaped quarter in there. So equal measures of plaster of Paris and water, basically. So between a third of a cup, between a quarter of a cup and a third of a cup. So one quarter cup in there, and I'm gonna put the same amount of water. Okay, so I've got my water in there. I'll put this away. Now you wanna mix this until it's a smooth consistency. So there's no lumps. Okay, so that's all mixed in. Then to that, we're going to add one full cup of the paint of your choice. So I just use regular wall paint. Go to my local hardware store, pick out whatever color of paint I want. I usually just pick a sample pot, which is like usually 500 mil. And yeah, whatever color, you just add one cup of that paint to this mix now. So because I use pretty much white on all my furniture, I've just got a massive six liter tin of just bright white flat um, ceiling paint. So this is just super, super cheap. I think it was about $20 for the whole thing, something like that, I can't really remember. And this is, yeah, this is all I basically use. So I'm just gonna give that a stir since it's too big to shake. So I've got my one cup measure here. And then you mix all of that together. And there's your homemade chocolate. <laughs>
process I'm just going to very lightly distress it I really hate doing it when it's all like beautiful and white but yeah I think I just give it a very light distressing is just to finish it off with some uh, furniture wax so this is a glitz beeswax furniture polish it just helps to protect your paint so you buff it on or you rub it on with um, I recommend using like a white cloth if you're doing white furniture just in case any dyes or stains don't come out of a colored one and um, you just rub it on with a circular motion Leave it to sit for a few minutes. I think this says about 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes, and then to buff it off. And this will help to smooth out any graininess in the chalk paint as well. Like I said, I just did a very light distressing, not too, nothing too major. Sorry, the lighting's not really good. It's just started to go a bit dark. I've only just styled it like this, just for like finishing the video off. But this will actually house all my makeup. So once I finish filming this, the end of this video, I'm gonna then set it up with all my makeup. So I'm. So yeah, I um, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And as you can see, it's it's not a hard process when you're using chalk paint. I just love it because it eliminates all the sanding, like all the prep type sanding, and um, yeah, it just makes for a very quick and easy project. So I'm really, really happy with the way that's turned out. I, um, I didn't do much in, inside the drawers because they were fairly clean as they were. So I just left them pretty much as is. So yeah, I'm hoping once I set this all up with my makeup, this will be a perfect vanity table. So it's all coming together, guys. Excuse all the mess in the background <laughs> if you can see any, but yeah, this is the last piece of furniture in my bedroom makeover so the rest now will be pretty much decorating and a few like decor diy decor projects so i hope you enjoyed this video guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel i would love to have you as one of my subscribers and you can join my journey in <laughs> getting my house finally finished and decorated and um yeah uh, we'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.